Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we will be talking about some simulation and mechanism in Katia and as you can see right now I'm doing a kind of simulation where this screw bar is going clockwise and anti-clockwise and we can see the mechanism on the bench wise. So this type of mechanism we can create in Katia V5 and it's very easy. I will show it to you how we can do this but before that if you haven't seen the design of uh, the bench wise and its assembly make sure you watch it I will keep the link in the I section over here all right okay so I'll stop it right over here and then let's start on how do we do this I'll undo that okay so first of all I will go to my file and open the cat product okay and this is the product that we have uh, which is the bench wise assembly and from here the very first thing that we want to do is come to this uh, product tree and delete the constraint so we don't want it all right okay so once we delete the constraint we need to apply some joint between the different parts so let's start with a mechanism so I'll go to insert new mechanism and then an application will be added in the tree with the mechanism inside it. Now after that we'll go to insert and we'll fix some parts. So basically go for insert and fix part and I'll fix the base plate. I'll do it one more time for the other side of the base plate and we have fixed it. Alright after that we can go to insert new joint and go for rigid and we'll go for a rigid joint between vice body and the base plate okay we'll do it one more time for the vice body and the base plate on the other side now we have uh, done the rigid joint we'll repeat the same rigid joint for all the other parts so i'll go for rigid joint again and this time we'll go for the base plate and the screws so i'll select this base plate and a screw number one I'll repeat it one more time for base plate screw and we'll do this for the other side of the base plate so rigid uh, screw rigid base plate screw okay and after that what we can do is we can go to insert new joint and rigid between the screw bar and the over bar globe all right we'll have to repeat it one more time for the this side of bar globe okay and uh, after that we need to go for new joint rigid vice jaw and oval filter as well as another rigid joint between vice jaw and the clamping plate and we have to fix now we have to give rigid joint between the clamping plate and set screw 2.1 and repeat it one more time for the other set of screw okay after that we can give one more and the last rigid joint so i'll go for new joint rigid and this will be between the joy screw and the screw bar okay so that's it with the rigid joint after that we can go for a revolute joint between the screw bar and the vice jaw so let's go for insert new joint revolute and we know that uh, we are going to do the revolute option between the jaw screw and the vice jaw so i'll select both the their axis and for the plane I'll select this plane as well as this and uh, we'll go for an offset of let's say 1.5 mm and press OK. Once we have uh, created the revolute we can uh, go for the other joint which is the planar joint so I'll go to insert new joint and give a planar uh, joint between uh, the planar face of this and then we can hide it and turn it around and the bottom face of 
vice jaw okay and press ok and then we can show it back all right after that we'll uh, we can add let's say a screw mechanism so a screw joint to the mechanism and go to insert again new joint and screw and select the axis of joy screw and the axis of base wise body you can say and then go for length driven and change the pitch to 5 okay the if you get this information that you can the mechanism can be simulated press ok this means that our mechanism is successful and then okay now let's come to the simulation part so for that we'll go to insert and go for simulation you'll select our mechanism press ok and then we can let's say go for command and we can pretty much change the values of the command so if i if i keep on doing this you can see how the uh, mechanism is happening so let's say i'll change it to a certain value i'll insert minus 25 as the lowest and 35 as the highest okay and then when i do it you can see that's the maximum okay so we can make it to let's say we can change it to highest up to 30 that's okay and it should not be 30 also so i'll change it to 25 okay and then that's the maximum and this is the minimum value of the command okay so after that i will click on insert and then when you play it it will be in single go so i'll have to uh, adjust the interpolation step to let's say 0 0.01 then when i play it you can see it's happening like that you can jump from start and play it one more if you want to loop it you can change it to loop mode and we'll keep on playing all right so all the other parts are fixed that's why we applied the rigid joint and then we went for the other joint okay so make sure you uh, you apply the rigid joint before doing anything with your simulation right so you can see the clamping plate is also joined with the jaw screw okay so i hope you understand this tutorial and uh, just like this you can create different types of uh, mechanism and do the simulation now this one is just uh, like a beginner kind of thing you can do complicated stuff as well but uh, let's not make it much more complicated so i'm stopping over here in this tutorial i hope you guys like it and if you have any doubts with this one feel free to comment down below and subscribe if you're watching this thank you guys peace out